my dear friends. Today we will learn how to get into the Vmos root folder, where Vmos directly downloads its ROMs and unpacks. We will do this both with and without root rights, right now I'll show you what it will give us. We get access to absolutely the entire folder, that is, to the downloaded ROMs and their information. We get access to the installed ROMs themselves and their root system as a whole logs to the cache and other things in this folder and k well we will not pour water take the sweets and enjoy watching and so when we use vmos on the phone let me show you a second we download the rom and so on this is done in the root data folder in slash data slash data without the root privileges we can't get there so i will show you the way with and without the root privileges it's not as good as the one with root privileges and it's a bit cumbersome, but it has its place. Let's start the first way who has the root, open the file manager that you have and so know how to work with the root and the root directory. After the file.manager go to the root of our phone then to the folder slash data then also slash data then look for the folder com.vmos.pro if you have a Chinese vmos pro or com.vmos.b if global, in my case the Chinese. The only thing I will show you is that from here you can easily extract everything into the internal memory, ROMs are downloaded in the ROM folder, and unpacked in OGMG. After changing in OGMG you set the file slash folder writes 777. For convenience, if your explorer supports symbolic links you can create such a folder for Vmos not to constantly climb there and not look. Now way too without root privileges, especially for those who do not want to bother or afraid of losing the warranty. Go to our beloved Vmos in our ROM must already be root privileges, as we in addition we need a terminal and explorer that knows how to work with symbolic links, required. The explorer that is able to handle symbolic links is either me explorer or explore. The first thing we need is a terminal. Type su command to get the root and then type the command from the description of the video and you can change it as we see fit. With this command we create a symlink from the temporary directory slash proc through an exploit or whatever you call it a loophole. We get access to the root directory of the main system, then slash data slash data your version of Vmos and voila. This loophole only works with the Vmos folder because each application can only access its own data folder. And the second line of the command is the directory where we attach the symlink. We can change it depending on where we want to create it. Well, I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Happiness, love, health, good mood. See you in the next video.